Oh, chicken and turkey and poultry dishes uh, have that reputation. Oh, it's, it's, it's healthier. It's white meat, too, light meat. And uh, it's got this reputation, which in truth is completely undeserved. Uh, let's call things for what they are. Uh, even the cage-free, free-range chickens, they're there. These poor birds are raised in these vast warehouses, 100,000, 200,000 turkeys or chickens in this large football field size enclosure. Then, but the cage-free, you boys, uh, the chickens are having a wonderful time. They're not. And they get these uh, terrible diseases that shoot through the whole flock. You've got to feed them antibiotics and try and prevent that. But very importantly, these are not your grandmother's chickens. These are not your grandfather's turkeys. <clears throat> these birds have been genetically bred and modified um, to put on weight as fast as possible. The more these birds weigh when they have their throats cut at slaughter, the more that chicken flesh producer makes. And so these birds are bred to put on fat as, as quickly as possible. You know, the advertisers, ooh, melt in your mouth, ooh, that wonderful, uh, delicious, juicy uh, chicken turkey. Why is that flesh melt in your mouth juicy? Because of all the fat in it. <clears throat> and if you need a visual image, remember the last time you watched someone make chicken soup and what floats up to the top, a layer of fat comes out of that chicken flesh. And people eating this flood their system with these saturated fats that injure their artery walls, that uh, uh, set them up for atherosclerosis and all sorts of problems. Uh, uh, this, this ridiculous idea, oh, saturated fats are good for you now. No, they're not. Uh, to, uh, the one study that they seized on that showed uh, that, that there may not be a problem with saturated fats was flawed. It's been this, uh, uh, discarded by all reputable sciences now, but it hit the news and it stuck. Ooh, saturated fats are good for you. They're not. You know, small amounts from avocados, okay. Uh, but to think that eating this fatty chicken flesh, etc., or turkey flesh is good for you, is certainly not. And also, all these worrisome contaminating substances that are fed to the animals, they, are, they feed these animals, these birds, antibiotics, they feed them grains sprayed with pesticides and herbicides. These are fat-soluble substances, and they're in that fat that people are eating with that chicken breast and that drumstick. And so the truth is, even though chicken flesh and turkey flesh has this reputation with the light, healthy meat, the truth is, it's the most unhealthy of all the flesh foods. And it's, and it's filled with substances that are really can cause you damage. And so uh, I would urge people to see beyond the advertising uh, ploys that are put out in the, uh, in the media and uh, see that there's nothing healthy about eating birds, uh, especially the way they're raised today. And that's another idea that should exit the stage left. We've used up the chicken and turkey, uh, and we've used up flesh eating in general. It no longer serves us. It's time for a major evolution on this whole planet to plant-based uh, diets while we still have the time to do that. And chicken and turkeys need to uh, go back to the forest of Asia where they came from. And uh, at least the chickens, the turkeys were American birds. Let them, go, let them do what they used to do out in the wild there, but time to stop eating those birds. Eggs are often a negotiation point between me and my patients. They, they get the flesh thing, they get the dairy thing. Well, how about eggs, Doc? Uh, but the truth is, uh, I wouldn't put them on the healthy list by a long shot. The, the yolk of a hen's egg is the most concentrated glom of fat and cholesterol on the planet. It's made to run a baby chicken for 21 days with no outside energy. It is pure fat that floods through your system, uh, not doing great things for your arteries or your inflammatory states. And the white um, um, has a lot of molecules called choline in it, and choline um, will spawn bacteria down your gut that will turn that choline into stuff called trimethylamine with the help of your liver that drives cholesterol into your artery walls. Um, there's nothing I can see that's healthy about eggs. I haven't eaten them for 35 years and, and suffered no, uh, no health deficit from them. Um, that said, um, 
uh, will one egg once a week uh, make lightning come out of the sky and strike you dead? Probably not, but don't think that you're doing anything healthy for yourself. And, and I would say, uh, time to leave the eggs behind. And, and that individual egg there, who knows the, the pesticide content in the yolks there? Who knows uh, what's really going to be spawned in your gut as a result? Um, I, it's a survival food, you know, that, that got our ancient ancestors through times of famine when they would raid the bird's nests, but it should be left in a dim past. I wouldn't call eggs a health food by a long shot.